We have our RBM Outdoors Koala Air 7, and we're going to check it out. We have a tarp, we've got a pump, uh, we got the rain tarp. Let's check it out. Hey, the Koala Air Tent 7 came in two boxes. We just took everything out of the boxes. It did come in two boxes. One has the pump and it looked like maybe uh, the divider for the rooms and some windows. We're not quite sure exactly what's in it yet in the stakes, uh, but obviously two different bags. Uh, let's see what's in them. We do have an electric air pump that we opted to add to the equipment. It does come with a like a hand pump, but eh, let's use the electric pump. On our right, we got the tent. So we just unrolled it a little bit. Didn't seem to be anything else with it that we've seen yet. And there's the bag up top. The smaller bag came with two tent stake bags. This is the pump. So it does come with a pump. It came with some windows in the back. There's the bag. Uh, it came with, it looks to be a, a, these, there's two things here. One seems to be a little thinner than the other. So two, looks like a room separator or potentially a rain cover. So let's get this thing pumped up. We want to time that and see if our pump will first of all do it and how long it takes. We don't know if this is going to work or not, but we did get an electric pump. Huh, about five minutes in. And there it goes. It stopped on its own at six and a half. Oh, let me hit stop. And we were at eight minutes and 16 seconds. So this hookup valve, something that's really cool to know. When you unhook it, there's like two valves, one bigger one that screws in. It doesn't lose any air. So you have a smaller one here that is protected. You just can screw it on, but you don't lose any air when you're messing with it. And then you can see here how that's hooked up. So there's the setup right now. Let's take a look at this thing. All right, just took eight minutes and 16 seconds to set it up. So this is the inflatable tent. And you hear people say that that feels tough. And boy, oh boy, does it ever. You got your side windows. There's one of your skylights. There is another hookup here in the back. There's only one door on this tent so there's a big window here in the back just rolling up a couple of windows the fabric feels nice and thick it seems really durable really sturdy feeling just got the tent set up we rolled the windows up kind of maybe not the way we would do it if we were camping in it does have an integrated stove pipe uh, come right through the ceiling your stove for your our wood stove it's interesting when you go in this tent it seems wider more than it does longer there's zippers that go down the sides of each of those and then there's velcro there there's velcro for the door and there's zippers it's extremely thick and well built it seems to be very very sturdy it's actually got ropes for guidelines for guy lines so you can see here they're actually big rope um, of course we're just setting this up in our yard getting ready though waiting for some cold weather hoping you can catch some snow and you can see there in the back room there's some skylights there's a room divider in it so some of these extra parts we're going to have to check out what they are and it does have ventilation, which is really nice. It's all attached in the back here. So you can see their screen and you just fold these, these things right here in and out. Let's go take a look inside. Come on in. So we have the two rooms in this. Here's the stove jack. We just measured this front room. It was about seven feet five, seven feet four, this way, front to middle. And then it's about 11 feet five or so side to side from there all the way to there. So you can see the stove jack. See there's already a rope for hanging things. There's a hook for hanging things. And this tubing is really tough. So you can see the hook. You've got plenty of pockets in the flooring. I mean, it is ungodly thick. This is some very, very thick flooring. There's a room divider in. And as we get closer, see it zips in and out. So you can see, you could actually take this center room divider right out. There are windows that we rolled down. There are apartments there. And we thought if it got too cold, we're going to leave this in. Because uh, then we'll just, we'll, of course, we'll just roll this door up. But then we would be able to stay in one room. This is the back room. Notice the skylights. All the pockets. This room is bigger. So the back room was noticeably bigger and see the floor does go up. You can take the center piece out, but it still will be a somewhat separate room. What a beautiful view though. So you can see the top, we opened the two skylights and it has the plastic windows in and the other bag or inside the, one of the bags has all the plastic windows that come to these, these windows now that have screens on them. 
So, yep, exhaust for heaters and air conditioners. Kind of a zip pocket there. A lot of extras. And just, you, you think of an air tent and you just don't realize just how sturdy this is. Think about bounce houses and how strong they are. But check this out too. The door in between has a couple of layers so you can have a screen. So maybe you go camping and that's your area you're using to cook and this is your actual sleeping quarters. Maybe that's your out, indoor outdoor space. So all these are like, these are double layered. And then you saw the stack we have outside are the plastic coverings for the windows. So in the winter you're camping or fall and you want to keep that warm air in but have a nice view, you can do that. Really nice. Super excited to get out and do some cold or cool weather camping in this thing with our stove. Can't wait. On the top, we just draped over the rain fly. So you would stake that down. And then right here in front of us, you can see this big door matches the big door that would be there. This one's full of screens and a lot lighter for the warmer weather. This is a lot thicker and heavier, must be the cold weather door. It just simply zips right on out. So it's really thick. It's got the zipper on the side and a big Velcro all along the bottom. And then I just laid these windows on it. So there are four windows just for the sides. The back window of the tent does have like double layered, has a an inside flap and an outside. And then there's two stake bags. Here's one. And all the stakes do look the same. So I believe one bag is for the rain fly and the other bag of sta stakes is for the tent and they are really thick and strong. So with putting the rain fly on too, you will notice there's not a vent pipe for the stove, which is right actually right here. So we just kind of have it draped over. But all four of these windows here do have the big plastic winter windows. This back one does not. It does have a canvas on the outside and on the inside. So that must just be enough. There's where a lot of that ventilation was. Or, you know, things for the diesel heaters, air conditioners, cords to run in, that kind of thing. There's another fill pipe back here in the corner. And you'll see there's two more windows, which we do have the winter windows for. So you're figuring eight to 10 minutes on a pump. You have a nice tent set up. It's super easy. You just hook the pump up and, and away you go. We decided to put the four winter windows on. So when we pack it up, it'll be ready for cold weather camping, which is really what we want to do. So we're showing you here just how easy it is. Pretty simple. Got some Velcro at the top of the window. Big long piece of Velcro. Kind of that goes up there. And then on the sides, it's got two zipper pulls. Oh, I only caught one. Oh, oh, there's the other one. So you just get the zipper started, and the zippers are, yep. this is a really thick, strong zipper. And you basically just go around and kind of zip it on in. There's four windows like this, two on each side. Up top, both skylights already have it. The rear window has two of these roll downs, one on the outside and one on the inside does not, at least ours didn't come with a, these uh, plastic winter windows. So we got two on on this side, we're going to do the two on the other side. We're probably even going to put the winter front door on because the whole reason we got this is to get that stove going and get out there in the snow and cold weather. So something kind of cool about these windows for the uh, rain, you can see they have like a flap that covers the zipper so the water can't get into it. Make it a little tricky for zipping, but kind of nice for keeping the water out. So we've seen a lot of videos where people just take this door out, use the back portion of the tent for their tent. <laughs> so I don't know if that zipper is the exact same size and you could put this exterior door thing on it. It looks like it's at least possible it is. Uh, and then they just use this, keep this open. So our thoughts right now are to put the winter storm door on. because We want to get the stove going, which the stove goes in this front room. But you can see there, you can have it kind of nice and wide open. It, just, it, it took her, by the time I walked over to grab the camera, she about had it all the way off. I had to slow her down. So it's 15, 20 seconds she had this thing. So now we'll just see how long it takes to put this up there in its place. The versatility of this tent's really something else. There's the winter door, and that little pile over there on the sidewalk is the summer door. But it's just wide open in the front. And you still have the middle section that you could zip up, use the other side as your tent. And then you got this whole section here. You could put chairs and really set everything up. You notice the stove jack there, which of course you want the winter door in for. We do have the four side winter windows in, and now we're gonna put the winter front door on. We were really curious, could you just leave the front open 
and just hang out that way if you'd want. So you could leave it open, put the summer screens up, or the winter cold door. Let's get that winter door on and see how that looks. So we just started putting the winter door on and it went so fast, I've set the camera down, walked over to help her and she had already had it zipped halfway. I grabbed the zipper from the top, pulled it down and there's a long Velcro piece on the bottom and it was done. So that was, it's crazy how quick it was. So here we are getting it ready for cold weather camping. We've got the winter door on and I tell you, it was crazy. The change out of that only took just a minute or two. So it is pretty easy, especially once you get the hang of it. Uh, we just got the tent this is our initial review and it is pretty thick and sturdy the air in this thing is unbelievably strong so it's kind of like a bounce house strength um, so it seems to hold air real nice so far and it's pretty versatile as far as for warm weather or cold weather and easy to set up the issue was uh, just getting it around because it's big but other than that it was pretty easy and now we got it winterized and ready so we'll go back in so you can see the center and this whole center piece does unzip then we can we can roll that door up you can see both of our skylights and this back window was the one we mentioned earlier it has a canvas roll down on the inside and outside so it did not come with the the plastic winter windows like the, the other four did there's for your attachments, heating, cooling, probably electrical wires, whatever you need to run in and out. Plenty of pockets, rope along the top, a hook or a loop in each room. And, you know, you got your air there. You do not have air along the floor, which, you know, we kind of like. It gives us a little room to put a furniture up that way. You can notice here, just giving you an idea. This is the centerpiece, just how quick it would unzip and come right out. Going through all the interior, it's nice and spacious. You got the ropes on both sides, the loops, pockets around, nice windows. You really feel like you got a good amount of space. You can see there, there's the back room. The floor is really thick. There's pockets and windows and lights. Seems to be really well constructed. It's gonna be plenty big enough. You can use this back room as your tent and the front room as your screen tent or your cooking or your kitchen or just hangout space. Let's go see there's the winter door. And let's uh, hey. you deliver some carpet. We got a carpet delivery. Just had our carpet delivery. Rolled up the center door here. There's two. There's a screen and then a canvas door that comes down. And they're pretty pretty thick. It's, uh, all the Zippers seem to be really high quality and everything's been really nice. It's actually exactly what we expected. We thought this RBM tent would be nice. And Tina just put down this rug. And the floor is even thicker than we thought it would be. Gives you a really good view of the back room. So coming from the back, looking towards the front, there's what our carpet delivery just brought us. And see there and let's go through the back rooms just slightly bigger than the front give you a really good idea of what you're looking at and that floor is really thick sides are nice we're winterized and ready to go other than bringing our stove out and hooking that up and getting it blazing we're ready to attempt to do some cold weather camping and riding and everything else that goes with it we just set the tent up for the first time first impressions really sturdy nice thick fabric uh, seems like really nice quality construction. Uh, details where you see a uh, flap going over the zipper, really nice, thick, sturdy zippers, and the flaps over them to keep the water out. Two doors for the front. As you can see, this one doesn't have screen. Uh, the other one has a screen door, so it's kind of nice. It has the winter uh, package, I guess. <laughs> First impressions, it's a really nice tent. Can't wait to use it.